Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. This is Ubuntu 9.04, released last month. You'll notice it looks pretty similar to version 8. There was going to be a complete overhaul of the way Ubuntu looks, but that's been pushed back a bit because it wasn't in time for this release. This is okay because version 8 users, when they go to version 9, it looks very similar. What's more important is what happened under the surface of Ubuntu. You've got a new kernel, you've got GNOME 2.2.6, uh, you've got the choice of the ext4 file system, and there's been some other stuff too, and I'll show that to you now. Uh, one of the first ones to note is that OpenOffice is now at version 3, as it shows right there. You can upgrade to 3.1, but the fact it's actually at version 3 is good. Uh, another one is the computer janitor. This is a cleanup program of sorts. Mine does not list anything because I haven't installed anything yet. This is a brand new installation, but it's like what it says right here. This application helps you find and remove software packages you might not need anymore. It also suggests configuration changes that might benefit you, which is good because so you can, if you have programs you uninstall, packages you don't need, you obviously can get rid of them after that, so that's actually pretty cool. In the look and feel department, the splash screen is new, the login screen is new. There are some more default wallpapers now. You're seeing one of them now. If I go to change desktop background, and I did that by a right click, by the way. Just switch over to this one, and there it is. That's one of the new ones here. There's also some new themes. If I go to Preferences and then Appearance, uh, we have New Wave, Dust, Sand, Dust, Dark Room. Let me just do uh, Dust, Sand to show you. And that looks significantly different. Even the uh, toolbars, excuse me, the scroll bars on the side look different. Go to the New Wave theme here. Notice to change it over here as well. And back to the human theme. Oh, also, I do appreciate the fact that on install, the fonts look perfect the first time. I don't have to mess with the fonts category here. Usually what I had to do is, uh, by default, it, it would not do subpixel smoothing. And it would use best shapes. Now, this may not be true on every computer that you install it on, but... I didn't have to choose that. I didn't have to go to, to uh, details and do slight. Now this is the best way to set up fonts in Ubuntu for readability. Subpixel LCD slight on the hinting and it looks absolutely perfect. I didn't have to do any of that. It looked perfect right out of the gate. So I was actually really happy about that. So that's the theme stuff here. And uh, also the only other thing I could really mention is that the startup and shutdown times are, should be much faster. Um, I can't say if I really noticed that. In startup, yeah, I can say it did start up faster. Shutdown, well, I guess I'll have to use it a little more before I actually uh, make a decision for myself here. It still comes with the Firefox browser by default. And it still has the Evolution Mail client and it has uh, the other stuff that comes with it. Not much of a departure. Oh, I forgot one other thing, actually. There's a new CD burning application in this, too. Uh, let me actually find it. Yeah, Brazero Disk Burner. Oops, I just launched the wrong app. <laughs> Take two. Brazero. I actually really like this, and the reason I do is because it's so stupidly easy to use. This actually reminds me of the way Nero Burning ROM used to be before it sucked. That's on the Windows side, by the way. You can do audio projects, data, video, disk copying, burning an image. I like the fact that right on the left, you've got all the options you could want for disk burning in very easy reach. That's actually, and I know a disk burning application is not that big of a deal, but I, I just like the fact it's here and it's simple. So anyway, with Ubuntu 9, I think you will really like it. Is it that much of a departure from Ubuntu 8? Well, other than the kernel 
and a few other software updates. I wouldn't say really, well, there is the new EXT4. I guess you'll have to make the decision on that whether you want to jump to 9 if you are currently using 8. But other than that, it seems to be very stable and very good so far. That's it for now. Take it easy.